Basically, to use the power rule, though, you'd have to expand this out, which really doesn't look like too much fun, right? Um, and therefore, your product rule, you could multiply it out so you have two products. But again, that doesn't, um, uh, doesn't look too uh, fun to be able to expand this. So I know this is, again, f of x. Okay, You could change the name if you need to. But again, I'm just going to look at, um, actually, I'll, I'm going to change this. I'll call, I'm going to call f of x h of x for this example. So I'll call h of x, which is going to be the outside function, x to the seventh. And g of x will be my new inside function, which is 2x squared plus 5. Okay, so again, when we identify the chain rule, I want to identify that outside and that inside function. Here's the function that g of x got plugged into. Does everybody kind of see that? And you can always go back and check. This function gets plugged into the outside function. That gives us our original problem. So therefore, I just find the derivative of them separately. And then to find my derivative, f prime of x, basically what I'm doing in this case is I'm doing the composition So therefore, I have um, h prime, which is 7, times uh, my g of x, which is 2x squared plus 5 raised to the 6 times 4x. I'm not going to expand this. And then I'll just multiply my two values. So therefore, I have 28x, 28x times 2x squared plus 5 raised to the 6 power. There we go.